Leap of Fate podcast fans. Welcome to this week's episode with yours truly, as always, Randy Silver. The Leap of Fate is about overcoming adversity, teaching life lessons, and helping you be the best version of yourself. If you're watching me on YouTube, thank you so much. You can see, and if you only can hear me, you haven't heard somebody else yet, because we are doing a solo pod. I'm here in my room in San Diego. I was just in Las Vegas for the work week at a conference called HR Transform 2022. HR Transform is all about the new way of work, helping HR professionals and people, anybody interested, investors, entrepreneurs, understand how work is changing and how they can help modernize their workforce, modernize the benefits, modernize everything around the world of work so they can create the best environment for their employees. I have a lot of pictures I'm going to share from HR Transform. I'm going to talk about my learnings there, talk about the people I met, what I saw, so I can give a very good holistic view and understanding of what is changing. So if you're watching on YouTube, again, you're going to see the immersive background. I'm going to be sharing pictures I have and talking about Oyster, the company I work with, why we're there, how we're able to be successful there, what we did while we're there. And also it was a full on conference. So I haven't been to a conference in two and a half years since COVID started. What was it like to be back? What were some of the restrictions that may have still been there? Were there any restrictions? What was it like for all these other people to be back at conferences for the first time? You know, in America here, COVID restrictions are going away. You're seeing companies like Apple, Google, Cisco, Facebook asking their employees to get back into the office. Is that something these employees want to do? Is this something that they're going to be a part of the great resignation and fall out of and try to find new jobs? All that goes into it. So this episode today is going to be about the world of work and what it's been looking like lately and how we're continuing to change and what's coming out of it. So again, if you're watching... On YouTube, please like and subscribe, or on Apple, Spotify, wherever it's at. Please, please help by growing the Leap of Fate audience by liking and subscribing so we can move forward. So this is going to be probably a 15, 20 minute episode kind of talking about it. And the best part is I have hours and hours of videos from HR Transform. So on the Leap of Fate YouTube channel, we will be putting out a full vlog video recap. So much happened there. And I'm really excited to show you what it's like to be back at a conference. So as I said, I work for the company Oyster. This is the Marissa background you can see. Oyster, we are a 100% remote company, meaning we do not have an office. We drink our own Kool-Aid. Our ultimate goal, Oyster, is to help with international hiring. We help businesses hire people in different countries where they don't have entities. So, for example, to make it very high level, if I have a business in the United States and I want to hire somebody in Spain or hire somebody in Thailand, any country, there's two options. Either A, I have to set up my business entity there, so register with the government, pay taxes, everything that goes into setting up a business in that country, or B, Use Oyster, which we're employee of record, and we become the employer. So we help people with onboarding, offboarding, payroll, taxes, expenses, everything in between, and we're that employer. So they are employed by us, and then they work for that business day to day as consultants. So it's a very profitable model, as you can understand during the pandemic, it's probably blown up as people are looking to break down borders and not have to hire in the region they've been in. In addition, they're realizing they don't need to hire in that region. It's cheaper to not have an office anymore. So they're able to then go hire the best talent around the world and not feel confined to these geological locations. Oyster was a pandemic company. So we started in early 2020, uh, super hyper growth mode right now. When I started in the September, as you guys know, I talked about it. I was employed number 130. Currently, six months later, we're now at 450 employees. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? So super hyper growth mode, businesses out there are seeing the need of why they want to be able to hire anywhere and not have borders. So that way they can hire the best talent, if that's sales, if it's development, engineering, marketing, support, all departments. So Oyster, we were at HR Transform 2022. As I talked about, this was the first conference I've been back. You can see if I'm on YouTube, I'm wearing the shirt that we wore at the booth. The future is distributed. So let me show you a picture of the booth and I'll describe it for those people listening to audio. I'm not going to lie. We were 
definitely, definitely the talk of the town. So on YouTube, if you're watching, you can obviously see. So the booth is right here. We have a big, the future is distributed, like my t-shirt. On the booth, we have an area for people to put post notes, answering the question, how will work anywhere change the world? And is that for you, for your company, or for a planet? So I'll talk about some of the stuff people put. We had couches for people to sit at. We had um, different things like demos for people to come to. I was there. You know, again, we're 100% remote company. So I've never got to meet any of my colleagues before. So our CEO who lives in Cyprus flew out for this. Our other co-founder, Jack, who lives in San Diego, who I've not got to meet. Another, the founder's name is uh, Tony, by the way, excuse me. Jack lives in San Diego, never got to meet him. Our president, Ellen, lives in the Bay Area, never got to meet her. Kim, our head of HR, haven't got to meet her, lives in the Bay Area. Mark, super head of HR, haven't got to meet him, lives in Austin, on and on. So there's about 20 of us here representing Oyster. Myself, my colleagues, Tatra and Alex from the sales team, we were, we call booth babes. I like to call us that, meaning we're there to talk about Oyster, help answer any questions that come in around the product, around the sales, everything like it. And boy, were we busy. We were so busy. We had conversations coming all day. We were a platinum sponsor, meaning we were one of the higher up sponsors there. So we had a bigger booth. We had a very good area. This uh, Our booth was set up in. So people were coming through the whole time. So this is what you're seeing on the screen is me at the booth smiling in front of all of it. Again, please go to the YouTube channel, Leap of Faith to see it. So let me talk, talk a little bit about being back at a conference. You know, in my time at Cisco, I went to so many conferences. If it was Cisco Live, if it was the global uh, GSX or the Cisco Impact, they call it now, or other, other vendor conferences where I got to speak about Cisco. I love conferences. I'm such a people person. It's very natural for me to speak, obviously, being on this podcast and YouTube channel. So I really enjoy spreading the word of what I believe in. At that point, it was Cisco, which I still believe in, but not there anymore. Oyster, I really believe my mission of helping breaking down international borders to create a better equitable life for businesses, for people to grow the mission. So being able to speak about it, obviously, it's my day to day doing sales virtually in my room, but able to go out in the public to do it at a conference. I'm very much excited about the opportunity, very much excited that it was in Vegas. Of course, getting back into Vegas, all that goes with it is always fun. And what you do before the conference or after the conference, nightlife, being able to uh, mingle with your coworkers, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So coming to the booth, you know, this was the first time any of us got to meet each other. So it was just good. It was just great, honestly, to be back together in person with all your colleagues. You know, it's different when you can meet people virtually. You can have those connections. You hop on the Zoom call for 30 minutes, and then maybe you don't get to see them virtually for another week, two weeks. You don't get to, you just talk over Slack. You just see them over a Zoom. But when you're in person, having that connection is just different. You get to be next to them. You get to feel them. You can, I came out a little room. But when I say feel them, like you can give them a hug, you can shake their hand. There's like that human connection, like that touch is just different than just like a wave over Zoom. And then being able to, after the conference, we know we're all just hanging out, go grab a drink, uh, go get dinner, uh, just hang out on the couches right here you're seeing on the screen and just talk and get to know someone deeper in life, talk about their work life, what they've been through, talk about personal life and get to know people. It's just it makes you feel more connected to your coworkers. It makes you feel more connected to your business, your mission, everybody around you. So this is why companies like Facebook, Cisco, LinkedIn, all those big companies you're hearing want people back in the office. You know, if, if it's a hiring mo model, two days three in, three days out, three days in, two days out, whatever it may be. You just can't replicate what it's like to be together in person, build those connections and be able to be in the conference room together in dialogue. You can definitely try to do the resume, but there, it's just different. But it works because you're an oyster. Again, we're 100 percent distributed company. So we're able to make it work and we use the best of brand tools to make it work, such as Loom, which is a screen recording where you can speak over it. You have other companies out there such as Asana, such as Slack, such as Notion that are helping create individual environments at your computer while you're able to collaborate in a big group all together. So that's one of the things that this conference was about was like, how do you continue to transform work? So Oyster was there to talk about how 
the future work. You don't need to be in the office. We're here to help you make sure you can hire people around the world compliantly, legality, and have the opportunity to find the best of breed talent. A lot of the companies, let me say it again, a lot of the companies we spoke to were in this realm of wanting to be fully remote. They either were fully remote or they were transitioning remote and want to be able to hire international people, which will take me to the question that I said is, how will the how will work anywhere change the world? We had people put sticky notes for you, for your company, or for your planet. So let me go ahead and talk about some of these. So again, if you look at the screen on YouTube, you'll be able to see this, but I'll say it verbally. So how will work anywhere change the world? For you, a lot of people put be able to work remotely 24-7, be able to follow the sunshine, be able to be a distributed worker, flexible work hours, be able to work wherever I want, whenever I want, being able to hire the best talent. So you can see here that people really attribute that to a personal love of what they're doing in their worker life balance. So it gives you the opportunity to be able to work. You're not confined to your cubicle per se anymore. You know, I think a lot of workers, especially in this COVID, have realized that and they want this opportunity to have that freedom. Now, with that being said, there are many people I spoke to there who were actually kind of excited to go back to an office. And I was very curious on the why. And it's a different life than me that they're living. I am 29. I live in San Diego by myself. I don't have any pets around me or excuse me, I don't have any pets in general. So I'm able to have a quiet workspace in my room get my work done. Spoke to many people who are not in that situation. They have a family, they have young kids, they have dogs, they have cats, they have noise around them. And they were looking forward to getting back to an office where they can just zone in and focus. So it was an interesting mindset because even though we have the same goals, they have a different working environment and they need to get out of their work life balance they have right now working at home because it's just tired down after two years working remotely having to take care for the kids you if you don't have the babysitter with you you'll have the nanny with you you have the dogs always barking at you and while you're on the back of the call and you want to get back in the office so you have some quiet and time and get away so you can take away home life and work life and make it two separate things so they were looking forward to getting back into the office which is very very um, interesting and I get that same thing, a lot of these people, this was the first time they've ever gone to a conference since COVID started, or first time they've really even left the house to go to this big event. Now, again, blessed, I'm younger, I'm healthy, I have both backs, I have my booster. I've been out, I've been going to concerts, I've been around San Diego, hanging out, I've been traveling. So for me, I'm very attest to being in a side an environment where there's a lot of people. Many people I met, this was the first time they've been out. And why is that? You know, they have young kids who are below the age and when they can get the vaccine. So they're very health conscious. They're wearing masks all the time because of that inside the house, excuse me, not inside the house. And when they leave the house or any, anything of that nature in between, they're not going out to respective big events. They haven't felt comfortable to go out to events in general because of COVID. But now that they have their vaccine, they got the booster, very important. And they want to go to this conference, be live. They definitely were wearing masks around the conference, which is totally good. Whatever you feel like is safe and you can live your life, go do you. So it was interesting to have these conversations with them to be able to speak about how their personal settings have changed the past few years and how they hope the things get back to normal. And we look at for your company, some stuff that people be able to put as Build a diverse workforce, build a cultural workforce, be able to build a global team, be able to integrate multiple cultures together, being able to have a bilingual team to support our customers better, being able to not have to be succumbed to just having a border around where you work now, being able to find people around the world. So you can see how the company is able to build out the team to be more diverse, be able to be more of a global workforce and it gives you opportunity for your business to be able to um, even take it up to the next level or two where you thought maybe you couldn't go to a new continent have new mindset have new thinking now you can hire people around the world and have that and lastly for our planet people put you know no littering because you're not in the office anymore you don't have all this uh organizational trash potentially that's coming in you're able to save out miles and hours and global uh, co2 levels from people commuting to the office 
all that goes with it and everything in between. For other things for our planet, you know, save the trees, more smiles, and much more in there. So you can see here that for you, for your company, and for a planet, people understand how we are able to change the way the world is able to work. And be, we're doing that here at Oyster. So I was able to talk about a lot of this stuff and obviously dive into more of what Oyster does on the day to day. So it was really fun to be at the conference again. And the other thing with being at the conference as well, again, is, and I just changed the picture, it's just being there with the coworkers. I said this was the first time we all get to be together. For somebody like me, I've been at the role for five months. Uh, you know, I'm an America sales manager building out the America sales team. I get to have firsthand experience speaking to our president, speaking to the co-founder, speaking to the, the HR department, speaking to everybody. So I get to show off who I am, the amazing person I am with a smile. <laughs> I hope that you guys are believing me. If you're listening to this, I would assume so. Uh, but they get to see my knowledge. They understand that you know, I'm a valuable part of the team. Yeah, they can see my numbers in Salesforce. They can hear, hear me on a Zoom call. But being able to see me in person, speak to hundreds of people who came up to our booth and speak Oyster, answer questions, and just you know help them out and be a good person, it helps humanize who I am, puts a face behind, excuse me, puts an identity beside the name they see on Slack, they see in Zoom. Being able to pick their brains over their future that they see with Oyster, how they got to where they are today. Because yeah, you can talk to somebody on Zoom about what you're in the moment, but one, one example, Ellen, the president, she used to work at Facebook for 10 years. So it was just really cool to pick her brain about Facebook. And as they went through their hyper growth mode and has Facebook change and like how she was able to evolve with a lot of the surroundings around Facebook, the better or for the worse that Facebook went through. And this pick her brain because it helped me become a better individual, more well-rounded individual to help out our clients and help me grow. Speak to Tony, the founder. And, you know, he's been in Cyprus the past two years. This was his first time ever at a conference like this uh, since COVID. And talking to him about like, what it's like to just be in Cyprus. I've never been to Cyprus and it sounds like a beautiful place to be. His work-life balance, he just had a young child. How does he balance that? It all goes into it and again, in between. The conference hosted many different events. There was a party at Marquee the, for everyone to get together at the conference to meet, like a thousand people. We hosted their own happy hour one night. Ludacris, which is sick as heck. And again, you'll find that in the follow-up video, did the the closing party and it was fun to be there, kind of let loose a little bit with your colleagues and see everybody again in a different light where you're not just on a Zoom call, you get to experience and make memories outside of it. And everything in between, having team dinners, team lunches, all goes with it. So two years from now, when this rocket ship is continuing to continue go up, we can talk about how much fun we had at HR Transform 2022 and how much learnings we had and how much we were able to grow. Again, it is, was such an amazing event. It was great to see. Again, you're seeing some of my coworkers here on the screen. So let's literally talk about for a second, HR transform. There was so much there and I don't have an HR background. So it was really interesting for me to just learn and be there. And the, how is HR transforming? I think of something that's lost a lot that we think about is HR professionals, people in, uh, you know, head of HR or head of recruiting, they probably had a very tough two years. How do you keep your coworkers, your peers, the people who work for your company happy when they're not able to leave their house, when they have all these other issues with COVID happening, when people have moved around the world because of COVID and they want to not move back? So they've had to deal with a lot of different new policies, different legality, compliance stuff going on. Um, how do you keep worker life benefits happy. So there are a lot of innovative co companies there around maternity leave policy. I already mentioned Bloom, around worker benefits, around um, life benefits, around all these other types of transformational stuff for the employee happiness. And of course, there are a bunch of tools there that you, you could also speak to talking about how you make the HR experience that much better for everybody who is working at your company. So this was my first time at the HR conference. It was very innovative. It was very uh, interesting to be there and learn because basically for me, there's on the job learning. And then on top of that, there are so many speakers and people you got to go watch in panel sessions where they talk about how is HR transforming? How is HR moving? What's around there? There was a really big keyword that uh, I may bring someone on who name is Kelly, who 
Uh, she runs a consulting company around DEI. DEI stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And so this was, I mean, I understand the term. You know, I'm from San Francisco for six years, very diverse workforce there, a lot of different cultures uh, together. But in the workforce, this was a little bit newer for me. And it's like, how do you improve team engagement? How do you be more inclusive culture? How do you make everybody feel like they're all together, regardless of your walk of life, your sexual orientation, the color of your skin all goes with it. And Kelly runs this company. I got to have a really good chat with her. I met her there. And she, one, as a founder, I would love to bring her on to talk about her entrepreneurship mindset. But two, talk about DEI and what that means and like how we all can be a better individual in the workforce and to each other just in daily life and have that. So hopefully I can get Kelly on. I'm working on booking that for you guys in the next couple of weeks. And other concepts like that were just really cool to hear and understanding how HR is working to be and create the best type of environment for all workers across the board. So it's not just us working with remote work. Again, there were all different parts there, HR transform. And it was really cool to just be there at the conference. Again, people, all walks of life were there. All multiple continents were there. Many people, this was the first time they were back together. And for someone like Kim Shao, Kim, if you listen to this, she's uh, one of our heads of HR. This was her first time really back out. And she's been in the HR world for uh, many, many years. And she had so many friends there and just so many connections from everything that she's worked in the HR space. Just seeing her smile and her and her connections and her friends and networking uh, groups together, smiling, hugging, bonding back together for the first time after being gone for so many years was just so eye-opening. And it was so fun. And it was so uh, rewarding to see that and seeing them catch up and hearing their stories and hearing the backgrounds. It really was impressive on my perspective to under, to see, because again, I'm a little bit younger. I've been able to go out on the battle and have fun. So yes, there have been some restrictions, but I'm able to stay connected with my friends. Many of these people have young families or are a little bit older. They haven't been able to travel as much because they have to care more about not just their own personal health, people around them and the people that depend on them, such as young children. So it was great to see them back together for the first time and be able to rekindle and feels like life is getting back to normal to a degree, knock on wood. Hopefully we keep it that way. We keep doing what we need to do to be successful and have the normality. In terms of Vegas, <laughs> Vegas was back to normal. This was during uh, March Madness week as it was coming up to it. So Vegas, all the hotels were super crowded. You saw people wearing basketball jerseys. Uh, there's no more mask in Vegas as the mask when they went out. So it was crowded. It was definitely, uh, it was crowded. You know, some people definitely still wearing their mask. Fair enough. Do what you think is best. So it was cool to see that, you know, Vegas is like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That mindset's coming back, you know, in the middle of March, spring break type of time. It, it was very fun to see everything getting back to normal. So it was really, really fun to be able to be there and have this opportunity to then share with you is like, what are my learnings? So the key word learnings from HR Transform is HR is ever changing. HR needs to stay relevant and stay up to date to be able to support the whole workforce at the company. So what are the best tools you can use? How do you make everybody feel included? How do you make everyone feel um, a part of the company? How do you give the correct benefits? And these are things that seem natural, but these are the things that make or break your workforce. These are why people may be leaving the company is they get an offer. And the offer just doesn't maybe mean more or less pay, but they provide better benefits, work from home life, remote life, should be life, what, what type of mental health benefits, physical benefits, everything in between. So how are these HR professionals make sure that their workforce feels um, that they're getting the best benefits that they can and getting the best workforce and the best work relationship. The other two is just, you know, that connection to being together with people. It's just, you can't replicate that over Zoom. Now that doesn't say I want to go back to being in the office. I really love working remotely in San Diego, but conferences like this, I would love to go to, you know, a couple of days here. If I need to go into an office for a meeting once, great. If I need to go travel to a client meeting, great. I can go do it. But I do like remote work. And I love what about Oyster is being distributed, which I'll talk about in a second. So 
it's great to have those connections being back together and seeing all this. So with that being said, you know, as I said, Oyster is fully distributed. And this is why a lot of people come work for Oyster is they want the opportunity to work anytime, anywhere, any place. So just as I talked about in the previous podcast where we talked about work-life balance and I was going to Mexico for uh, a couple of days to just uh, decompress, I'm actually going to be working remotely for two to three weeks, not from my home in San Diego. I'm going to go fly to Miami and have a great time because I've never been to Miami before and I want to just go work for Miami and I have the ability. So I booked myself an Airbnb. I'm going to go to Miami for... I think 10 days it is, and just go work for Miami, enjoy what Miami has to offer, and then go to Puerto Rico and go do the same thing for a week or two. Don't have my return flight yet. And just go to Puerto Rico, work from Puerto Rico, and enjoy everything Puerto Rico has to offer. And I get that opportunity because I work for a company like Oyster, where the future is distributed. So I'm able to work remotely where I want, when I want. Of course, making sure I get my work done. What I'm doing for Oyster right now is I'm building out the sales team. I've already hired five people this quarter, and some of them already started and doing a great job. I can't wait to continue to hire more. And obviously, the people I can manage, continue to manage them the best of my ability and all of what's in between I need to do. But I don't have to do it from an office. I don't have to do it from San Diego. So I'm going to go ahead and do it from where I want to do it, which is Miami and Puerto Rico the next couple of weeks. And then in July, I have to move out of my apartment as well. My landlord lives in Italy. He's going to come back for a month for his summer vacation with his family. And then I'll be another remote worker there again, too. I think I may go to Seattle, visit my brother for a week, go to New York and visit friends for a week, potentially go to my parents' house for a week or two. And I just have that ability and the freedom. And I love it. I absolutely love it. You see how much fun I have. You see how much fun I have traveling. And I want to continue to do that because then I can travel and work remotely visit new cultures, visit new places I've never been before and have the best opportunity I can to just live my life and live my life to the fullest. And I got to do that this week at HR Transform and had an amazing time with all my colleagues in Oyster and everybody I met there in the uh, everyone we connect on LinkedIn, everything around that. Thank you so much. I enjoyed all of it and I enjoyed making this podcast for you. Again, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the brand of Leap of Faith. And please subscribe over to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, Apple, all the good, good. Please share the message. I can't wait to continue on. Now, again, because I'm traveling, I'm going to try to have some podcasts created for you next couple of weeks. I may need to take a week or two off because I don't have my settings with me and the correct stuff to be able to get you what is um, the top quality I want to produce. Also, may need to just take a week to decompress, give myself some uh, mental break, and then move back forward. But I will do my best to make sure I can keep this week over week going because you guys know me i've only missed two weeks my whole time creating podcasts we're almost getting close to podcast 100 which i can't wait to bring back as well because we're going to have some fun guests for you for podcast 100 uh, it's a big one 100 episodes is a lot so i want to make sure the milestones there all right y'all leap of fate thank you so much please be on the lookout for the video around hr transform 2022 Please be on the lookout for anything else coming out on the YouTube channel while the videos and podcasts get posted or anything through the audio streams. One love, you know the sign off, do it with me. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and have a good week, fans. Love y'all. Deuces. Bye.